Hey everyone, welcome to Carrie's Garage, and on this episode, we're back with the 74 Volkswagen Beetle Sunbug. Is it done? Am I finally done with this project? Let's talk about it right after this. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, like, share, hit the bell. You know, I'm able to put out videos and more subscribers, you know, the more content I, uh, I feel motivated to do. This was one of them. It's a project that has been a long time in the going. And also, I have a Patreon. Any support to the channel greatly helps. And all my videos are currently sponsored by Route 66 Auctions. It's a local New Mexico auction that does consignment sales, donation auctions, cars. They do all kinds of stuff, but they do have a monthly car auction. Down below in the, uh, the description is the URL for that and my Patreon. Check it out. And now let's talk about the Sunbug. So this is the 1974 Volkswagen Beetle. It is a special edition called a Sunbug. I'll talk about that a little bit more in detail. I know I talked about that in my first video, which the URL for the first YouTube video I did on this car is down below in the description. I think I've done 10 or 11 videos on this car. This car has been in my life for a very, very long time. Probably something like 20 years, I would guess. It had been sitting since sometime in the late 90s when it got vandalized, which is why it has bullet holes on the front. It had a problem with the fuel system. But then a good friend of mine got the car when we were still teenagers. Never really did much with it. And then I ended up with it and then went back. And then I ended up with it and then it went back. And now I ended up with it again in 2019. And I put a significant amount of work in the car. As you can tell, the paint is, you know, it's got a lot of patina on it. The paint is so-so. Uh, not some of it doesn't even have paint. It does have some bullet holes, as you can see right there, up on the hood. Interesting thing is one of the bullets actually didn't make it out and it left a dent. These are Dan Gurney alloy wheels that honestly, I don't even remember where we got them, but they've had them for a long time. And I do have the original plus wheels, the sport wheels that came on this car. It does have the sunroof, which is one of the parts of the sun bug really odd thing is it's got snaps on it owner back in the day had a problems with the sunroof and decided to drill holes put snaps on it and put like a boat cover on it i don't know i guess it worked it was easier for him than fixing the sunroof which you know i did do a lot of time with it the engine i put eh, quite a lot of amount of time in that as you can see from all my videos I put 1641 pistons and cylinders in it rebuilt the carburetor cleaned up all the tins it is you know, dusty and dirty from sitting down here. I cleaned up a 009 distributor and put it in there, even though it's not my favorite. And for the longest time, I was missing the stovepipe that came up from here for the uh, preheater. I did find one of those, got that all in. You know, it's pretty much, it's all there. And it does run decently. I'm sure really part of a, a project would be to tune it up, fine tune it a little bit, but you know, it does work. I also put brushes in the alternator so it starts, so it charges. I took the taillights apart, cleaned those up. I mean, it was just one little thing after the other. Now the interior on Sunbugs is kind of unique, but this does not have the seats front or rear. These are also not 74 seats. There are 73 earlier, I think 71 to 73. 74 seats have a different contour, but the 74 seats originally had the, the brown, which matched this with corduroy inserts. The Sunbugs also had a console, which was removed at some point because it had an aftermarket kind of console with a box in there that I'm, I'll probably throw back in the car. And the Sunbug shift knob is missing. I believe it broke at some point and it's, uh, it's no longer there. I'd love to find one, but they are hard to get does have the sport wheel, I guess is what you would call it, which is what one of the part of the Sunbug package was. So the hood is missing the handle. I'm gonna see if I can order one of those. I don't know if it'll be able to fit because there is a little bit of a crease right there. I, I don't know. I did completely clean out the fuel tank. That was a total nightmare. I also had to replace the fuel line in the pan in the center of the, the tunnel. That was a total nightmare. And a lot of the pictures you see pri uh, previously of the Sunbug, it didn't have a headlight ring. The original driver's one was there, it was plastic, and I actually found these, these are type 3s, and I want to see if they would work, and I'll be darned if they worked. I do have the plastic piece that goes here, but the little vents I'm missing. I don't know, I might source those at some point. And I do need a bumper shock. This one is pushed in, so the bumper is a little bit tweaked. I am looking for a bumper shock for this car so I can fix that. I also completely rebuilt the entire brake system. It has only wheel cylinders, 
uh, soft lines, master cylinder. Uh, only thing left I need to do is the parking brake cables. And if we, the, the panel for the sunroof, I have, the material is not that great on it, but I had it out because I was trying to mess with it. If we just simply, I really need to clean the tracks back up. They're getting a little bit dirty again. Sunroof does open. It is a sun bug. Why not use it? Well, let me set you up on the GoPro and let's take it for a little drive on the main road, which is still so weird to say because I've never been able to drive this car until the past couple of days. You know, it's been sitting for a long time and I've been around it for almost 20 years and this is the first time I'm able to drive it and it's still such a weird feeling, but it's a good feeling because the amount of work I've done to the car is just, it's astronomical, but it's uh good, good progress. So yeah, let's take it for a quick little drive and talk about it some more. Before we get going on the main road, let me just close the sunroof. It does need a handle. I know you can order those. It's really the only problem I have with it is that you've got to kind of help it lift up a little bit and then it sits in a place. So here we go, driving it on the main road. Still such a weird thing to say. So overall, in general, all the big stuff is done. I've rebuilt the engine, I've rebuilt the fuel system, I've rebuilt the brake system, I've I've done so much stuff. There is a lot of little things that could be done. It needs the running boards, because the right one's missing, the left one is, uh, it's got some rust. Um, I did order a set of parking brake cables, that's really the only thing left I need to do on it. Um, it could use a little bit of work on the front end, you know, it's been sitting for a long time and you know, I'm sure the ball joints are a little bit tired and you know, the steering is kind of loose, but you know, it does drive. Weirdly enough though, the speedometer is dead on accurate. Who knew? It does need a windshield as you can tell. Those aren't too bad to get, thankfully. And you know, it's got like this tape residue on the dashboard when uh, the previous owner put tape on it because you know, it does get a little bit of a uh, air draft when they took all that the fresh air ventilation off. Um, you know, the turn signal sticks a little bit. You know, it's just little stuff. It's a, it's a 50 year old car, but I'm driving it. I'm actually driving this car, which, like I say, it's still kind of, it's still kind of surreal for me that I'm doing that. I even got the heater hooked up. The heat's actually on right now. It gets kind of warm in here. I'm sure the, the controls are a little bit, you know, funky for the defrost and the heat, but they do work and it does run. We're driving it. It's, oh, oh yeah, a little plastic piece for the sun visor is missing, broken, you know, plastic. But I don't know. I'm still, I'm still in kind of shock that I'm really able to drive this car. And it's an old Beetle. I do love old Beetles. They've always been really fun and very enjoyable to drive. So to say the least, these days all I've been doing is just tootling around down where I live, going to the grocery store and just kind of, uh, you know, just driving it around. Why not? Now, if I was really ambitious, I could find a set of 74 seats and uh, find some corduroy and brown, fa uh, brown vinyl and redo the seats and make it look more appropriate for a sun bug. Uh, the shift knob I've been looking for years, and I know there's a guy who was recently 3D printing them. Um, I don't, I don't know if I want to go that far. If one pops up, the thing that sucks is like 15, 16 years ago or more. Yeah, my my early 20s, in my 72 Beetle convertible, I'd actually found a Sunbug shift knob, and I had it in that car for several years, and I think I ended up selling the shift knob or something. I really don't remember, but I would love to find the shift knob. It's a Volkswagen emblem that's got, it uh, looks like a sunflower, kind of. And one of the biggest things, too, is the uh, Decklet emblem, which was a plastic emblem that said Sunbug with the ladybug. I know I put pictures on a previous video. Those are really cool. They pretty much don't exist and every once in a while they do come up for sale and they're ungodly expensive. I think I recently saw somebody was 3D printing them. I mean the grateful thing of 3D printing, you can do that. But again, it's one of those, how far do I want to go with this? Do I want to find a hood and some fenders and uh, strip the body and you know, see if I can clean up and paint it? Or do I just drive it the way it is, you know, drive a patinaed beetle around and just enjoy having an old bug that I can drive, which that was kind of the original end all goal was just to be able to drive the car around, which I am doing after 
many years and lots and lots of work. And granted, I'm sure I could have been done earlier, but you know, life gets in the way and you know, things happen. I was also having issues finding some parts every once in a while, like the brushes for the alternator. My, you know, a couple of videos ago, that was a total pain, but I got it fixed and it's charging. That makes me really happy, but I don't know. I will probably just fine tune it, do a couple of other little things left to it, and then just drive it. I've got so many other projects that I don't really know if I want to put a huge amount more into this one. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll kind of see. But I can drive it. I can drive the sun bug. Oh my gosh, it is just... Ugh. It's something, I tell you. I love it. I do want to find at some point, I'm, in, I'm on the hunt, I'm not in a hurry, but I am on the hunt for a 58, a 59, or a 60 bug. I want it to still be swing axle, 36 horse. I would prefer if it was still six volt. I don't want anything modern, lowered, swing axle, bigger engine. I want a fairly original, plenty of patina. The interior doesn't have to be great. The paint can be blah, but I, I would like to find that generation beetle, especially if it's got ice pick door handles. That's kind of one of my big dream desires is to have one of those. But for now, I got the 74 bug to drive around. And it's fun. It's a bug. And it's not a super beetle. I'm not a fan of super beetles. Personal, personal preference. I like standard beetles, but you know, they're what they are. Still can't believe I can drive this car around. I'm probably gonna say that all the time. It just blows my mind. Uh, back on the dirt road, so put it here. Well, I'll go ahead and wrap up the video there on the 74 Sunbug. Thank you so much for watching along on the journey of working on this car for the past couple of years on the YouTube channel. What a great success and progress. I really don't know um, how many more videos I'll do on this car because like I say, uh, I'm not sure what else I'm gonna do on it other than like windshield and a couple of little other things, but it's, uh, I'd say it's pretty much done. So much work, but it does feel good. It's, a, it's an odd feeling to be able to get to this point. But anyways, again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll catch you on the next video on some other project car I have laying around.